What do you do about the about the negative guy that's trying to bring you down? Claim what you want, not what you don't want. So affirm good things as opposed to happen to me and begin to believe that. Or are you a chaser? How long have you been thinking about this one day? What you got to start doing is you got to start anticipating that it's going to change and just start living your life with the preparation for change at the beginning of the year. A lot of you had goals, a lot of drive, a lot of motivation. It was Easter, it's the middle of April to make sure I get too far worth my goals, my dreams. A lot of you are proud of who you are. You're like the person you created do. Nothing start from scratch creates somebody that you're proud of. Stay hard. You can learn all the techniques in the world. If you don't believe in yourself, it won't happen for you. I learned all of it. Focus on the seller. You've got to focus on you and as you convince you as you sell yourself every day, every day. And sure, you can you can confront them, right? And you can, by doing that, join in their, in their little game. And in doing that, you give them the satisfaction. They now know that they, they got into your head. And, and then you're turning your workplace into, you know, your basic grade school gossip hall. So we don't like that. But now there are times, unfortunately, that you, you have to address things. And when you do it, you do it professionally. So here's the first step to accumulating wealth. If you expect to do it, write this down. You must be willing to do the things today others won't do. In order to have the things tomorrow, others won't have. That's why the book of life said the road to life is straight and narrow and few there be that find it because few there be that are willing to do the things today others won't do. In order to have the things tomorrow, others won't have. What are the things that others won't do? Number one, make discipline a major force in your life. How many of you know if you'd have been more disciplined, you'd be further along to reach your goals right now? They know they can't beat you, so their goal, their plan is to make you beat you. All the great ones in life, one thing they had was composure, no matter what people do with them. Hate negativity, gossip, drama, rumors, no matter what they do with them, they stay focused on where they were trying to go. No matter what's going on in your life is not permanent, everything is going to change. So there's two things you can do with change, you can react to it, or you can participate in it, it's going to change. Anyway, so if you keep waiting around, you're going to have to react to the change. And now you're behind, but if you participate in the change, if you know the job you have is not going to last forever when you go to work at every day, that's going to change. And you do it. Your goal is to disarm them. Because remember that this negative person inside, they probably want the confrontation. That's what they want. But the preferred methodology for this situation for me is quite simple and that is ignore and outperform them you see while you're over there watching me and talking about me i'm working i'm working hard i'm taking things to the next level you keep gossiping and I'll keep working. You keep talking smack and I'll keep working. You keep focusing on everything and everyone else and I'll keep working. Socrates said the undisciplined life is an insane life. The road to life is straight and narrow because few there be that are willing to discipline themselves. Here's something else that most people won't do. Make it okay to fail. A lot of people, 85% of people allow their fear of failure to outweigh their desire to succeed. Repeat after me, please. Anything that's worth doing is worth doing badly. Yeah. See, anything is worth doing is worth doing right as we have been taught if you know how to do it. But if you don't know how to do it, is worth doing badly until you get it right. I bet you, and I wasn't there, I bet you 
that when Bishop T.D. Jakes first stood up to preach, when he gave his trial sermon, he did not have the command, he did not have the mastery, he did not have the confidence, he did not have the depth, he did not have the capacity to translate and milk scripture like he did last night when he first started out. You may not believe this, but you got to do more than less. You got to give a little bit more than less, whether it's on your job, with your family, with the workplace, whatever it is that you're doing in the fitness realm, your nutrition, whatever it is that's holding you back, you got to take it to the next level. You got to stop being complacent. You're always looking for the easy way out. There is no easy. How can you be successful in life if it's easy? Why do you feel that easy is the best way to get to the level you want? Have you think a champion becomes a champion, a champion doesn't get it the easy way. A champion is a champion for a reason. And I'm not saying you got to get in the ring and knock somebody out, but you definitely got to knock out those excuses you got to knuckle up and you got to buckle up and you got to be about your business. Why are you constantly, constantly making excuses? You don't believe that you are. And the very first thing the creator said was, tell him I am. After you do pursue, what does that mean? You never get to a place where you chill it. Now your children's children will be satisfied for a marginal life and a marginal marriage. If they see their mom and dad have a marginal anything, they're going to embrace that. Why? Because you can tell people whatever you want to tell them, but people don't live their life based on what you tell them. They live it on based on who you are. This information is going to change your life forever. Like, if you've been here, this information is going to change your life. Find out who you are. Find out what your purpose is in life. Everybody got a dream. Everybody got a goal. Stop dreaming about it. Stop talking about it and get up and do something about it. How long have you been talking about this one day? How long are we going to talk about it? How long are we going to dream about it? How long are we going to fantasize about it? How long? You tell me. It takes grit. It takes sacrifice. It takes time and energy. It takes extreme focus. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. I want to be that voice to you to stop dreaming and start chasing, start pursuing. But most importantly, you got to become. Today is your day. Today is day one. What are the two most powerful words in the English language? The two most powerful words in the English language are I am. Because what comes after I am will shape your life. What you speak after, I am. What you believe after, I am will control your decisions and shape your life. If you believe you are powerful, if you believe you are capable of achieving great things, you will attempt great things. If you speak into your life resilience and determination to overcome anything, you will be ready to face and overcome anything. Let the power of I am shape your life in the most powerful way. What you speak after I am, what you believe after I am, will control your decisions and shape your life. If you believe you are powerful, if you believe you are capable of achieving great things, you will attempt great things. See, a lot of people always talk about one day it's going to happen. One day I'm going to do this. One day I'm going to do that. So that's my question for you right now. Is it one day or day one? You're going to follow one line or the other. Is it one day or day one? Here's the truth. The doers do and the dreamers dream. Hear me clearly, the doers do and the dreamers dream. So the question is, are you a doer or a dreamer? You've got to put some action behind your words. Your wins aren't always going to be big. In most instances, they come in small increments. Just like our days come in 24 hour increments. Your wins will come in increments. We all have the same amount of time. We all get 24 hours in one day. Some people invest their time and some people waste 
What are you afraid of? Oh, I get it. You're afraid to fail. You're afraid to go back. No one said you had to go back. All you got to do is keep pushing. Forward, you may fall a few times. You may slip a few times, but that doesn't mean you quit. That doesn't mean give up. That means you must find a way and you must make a win. You got to continue to dig deeper than you ever dig in your life. Enough is enough. Enough with the excuses. Enough for being complacent. Enough for giving up. This is the time to recognize your purpose. This is the time for you to recognize your truth and make the most of your life. And if you're not willing to do that, then nothing's going to happen for you. Nothing is going to give you that truth. 